New York police are looking into the eyes of criminal suspects with the help of electronic scanners, and that is sparking a serious debate. Let's go to CNN's Mary Snow. She's in New York working the story for us. So what's going on there? Well, if you ask the NYPD, they say there is no debate. It says it's using this digital imaging technology because it's accurate and quick, and its goal is to prevent mistaken identity. But some critics are raising concerns. Tom Cruise made them famous in the sci-fi film Minority Report. Iris scanners identifying people before they commit crimes. Police in New York aren't doing that, but they are now using iris scanners after making arrests, which require fingerprinting and mug shots. Just move in a little bit for us. Keep your eyes open nice and wide. And we have an iris capture. The New York Police Department showed us what a suspect will now go through. And just move out a little bit. There you go. Within seconds, an iris image is taken and stored. Once we have you coming into the arraignment courtroom, we move over to the next station. In court, the suspect is again scanned. That image is then checked to see if it matches with arrest records in the system. The green box indicates it's a match. Red does not. Police say they're trying to prevent suspects charged with serious crimes from swapping identities with someone charged with a lesser crime. The NYPD had two cases earlier this year where felons were able to slip through the system, and that's why they say they decided to use these iris scanners. The city's police commissioner calls it a common-sense approach in a city where an estimated 400,000 arrests are made each year. Why not just fingerprints? Because all the prisoners are also being fingerprinted, right? They're being fingerprinted and they're being photographed. This is an easier way of, of checking. But that way of checking concerns the head of the Legal Aid Society. There's been an extensive legislative debate in New York State in which the legislature only permits the police department to collect DNA evidence in certain kinds of cases. And so it's incumbent upon the police department not to uh, find a whole new technology and then forge ahead without any legislative authority. We are authorized to take pictures. This is simply a picture of your iris. And again, we're matching that iris at the end of our process to see if you're the same individual. No, our lawyers say we don't need any legal mandate to do it. And one of the questions is, will this technology have other potential uses, such as a tool to track terror suspects? The police commissioner says it does have potential to do that, just like all technology, but stresses that is not the police department's intention that it's being used to better identify suspects. Well, thanks very much, Mary, for that. Uh, what does it mean when U.S. hunger is at the highest level in 15 years? Jack Cafferty is next with your email also.